Today is the day. We've decided to surprise Lucy at her school. Let's go meet Penny and Christina. This is Sonia and Linda, our extra sewers. So nice to meet you both. Thank you so much for helping us out, ladies. But we don't have a lot of time, so we should probably get inside. Okay, We're ready. Right. It's the sew train. Ladies, this way. Come on. Let's move. I hope they don't catch us. Come on in, ladies. Think this will work for you? For sure. This is great. Let's see. Hey, Penny, can I help you out at all? Got it. Thanks. This is because of yesterday. This is going to be so fun. Let's sew it up. I'm set. All right, this is looking great. Yeah, let's go. OK, so the ladies are all set up in there. Now we just have to surprise Lucy. If, but we can't just bust into her classroom. You're right. Uh, hey, what day is it today? Uh, I have an idea. Uh, look at this. We look good. Uh. And today happens to be International Pickle Day. Lucy loves pickles, and we are going to put her love of pickles to the test by having a pickle eating contest. Okay, but who's going to participate in the pickle eating contest? You know what's funny is I actually hate pickles. Like, I can't even smell them. It's like, oh, gross. <laughs> so I think you should do it because you're dressed for the part. You know, well, I think that we should flip a coin, and heads I win, tails you lose. Yeah? OK. Wait, what? No, Em, I really can't. No. I got myself in a real pickle. Pardon the interruption, teachers, but I'm going to need the seventh grade yearbook staff to meet me in the library, please. OK, be ready. Welcome, welcome, and happy International Pickle Day! Yeah. Pickles rule! And we have a very important task to accomplish. We are here to unseat our reigning champion pickle eater. Please introduce yourself. What's up, everybody? I am Tennessee's pickle champion. Thank you. Woo! But yeah. not for long. I need a volunteer who loves pickles. Oh my gosh, you just stepped right up. What's your name? Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Bring it. Would you please put on an apron and take a seat? Okay. Have a seat if you dare. I would help, but I have cartoon hands. Oh, you guys are so Get ready, good. get ready, get ready. <laughs> okay, there are only a few rules. You have to eat two pickles. You can only eat them one at a time. And when you are done, you have to uh, Open your mouth so I can check. Are all the rules very clear to you? I got it. OK, open your jars. Oh, jeez. OK, select your pickle. On your mark, get set, go! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Oh, Lucy, she's got one. You earned this. You are now Tennessee Pickle Champion. What was your name? Lucy. Lucy. Lucy Blaylock? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Lucy, this is not International Pickle Day. We're actually on a show called Random Acts, and we do nice things for nice people. And we have heard about all these blankets that you make, shipping to people all over the world. We heard you're sending out so many that you need a little help catching up, and that's what we're here to do today. Is that cool? Yes. <laughs> all right. We have a team of sewers who are all ready to meet you. Really? Yes. yes. Let's change and get over there. Yeah. Are you ready to meet your sewing team? Yes. Okay. Hi, Lucy. Hi. Hi. Here we go. Hi. Christina, Penny, Sonia, and Linda. Hi. Okay. So important question: How many blankets do we need to make? I think sixty-seven. Whoa. Oh. That's the backlog? Whoa, that Oh is... my gosh, that's a lot. How long is that going to take? That's like 16 blankets Maybe a piece. Four? You think we could do four, it in four days? Four days. Four days. Uh, we, we really only have this afternoon. But you know what? I think we've got a couple of other people who might be able to help. Yeah, Maybe let's help go meet them. Up. OK. Yeah. Thank you, yeah, ladies. Yeah. See you in a second. I hope they can sew. Lucy, I want you to know something. You've been nominated dozens of times. That's what an impact you've had. So come in here and let's meet your team. Inspiring people meet you and they want to do more, which is such a gift, such a beautiful thing, Lucy. All right, let's get making some blankets. Huh? 
Did we surprise you? Did we get you? <laughs> yes. Here's another surprise. Not only are we going to make all 67 blankets and probably more, we are going to wrap them, package them, take them to the post office, and ship them off, sending them all over the world, all before they close at 6 o'clock. And we know that you like to keep things really personal, so we want you to put your love Lucy heart on every single blanket. Sound good? Yes. Now, I know that we have a lot more people, but we really have to get going if we're going to get these done by 6 o'clock, so we should start working. Hey, hey, do you think I could take a turn on one of your machines? No. no. Uh, I'll take over for you for a bit. Yeah, I don't think so. Can I uh, uh, get in there? I heard about you from Penny, so I'm good. How'd you feel when you walked in and saw all those people? Overwhelmed, but a good overwhelmed. Oh, yeah? That makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. Hey, come this way. This is where it all begins. The fabric is rolled out and then cut, after which it's sent over to the pinners. They flip the fabric inside out and start pinning all four sides. Then it makes its way to our seamstresses. They sew up all four sides, leaving just a little bit of a gap so that the flipper inside outers will flip it inside out, send it back out to the seamstresses who will sew up that final little piece. Thank you. And then we come to the last step. This is something that can only be done by Lucy. So explain to me the final section. I'm putting my heart on the blanket because when a kid has their blanket, it just shows them that Lucy loves them. It's more personal. So once all 67 of these blankets are sent out, how many will that be total? Um, over a thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Over a thousand. Over a thousand? That's awesome. And look, she just finished with love from Lucy. I've seen this really quiet, hardworking kid just doing everything. Who is this? That is Luke. Hey, Luke. And that's Lucy's brother. Yes. Top stitch, please. He's a quiet, strong supporter. He'll sew if we need help sewing. He'll pin if we need help pinning. He's a good kid. All right, this is quality control. Hit me, Luke. Mm. All right, that one's good. Is there anything I can help mm. with? Come to you. Perhaps you could find something for Will to do. I got you. I'm on it. All right, I have been kicked out of every section, so I am here with Ron and Jim. This is Christina's husband, this is Penny's husband, and we are taking these blankets that are done, and we're gonna tie a string around them, and then put the palm into the blanket, and we have a whole list here that we are sending out to these people before six o'clock. Uh -oh. Can we do that? Maybe. We can't become the bottleneck, guys. We gotta get moving. Let's stuff these envelopes, let's put the addresses on, and ship them off, come on! Okay, ladies, how are you feeling? Are you feeling tired? Do we need to stop? just wants to help people, so it's really nice to be able to help her. I think it's just wonderful. She spreads the kindness around. Gentlemen, we have to pick up the pace. I mean, we are outnumbered like 50 to 3 back here, but it's no excuse. We need to get together more often, and so for Lucy. We're losing ground here. You're younger than us. You should be able to do it fast. Wow, you must be Penny's husband. <laughs> Look at that! Oh! They're so cute. It's 420. I know we can work faster. Let's race. Ready, set, go. No. Okay. Done. Oh, man. Your last. Come on. Where are all of these blankets going? They're going all over. We've got a big batch going to New York. We're going to United Kingdom. South Dakota, Texas. Australia? Belgium, the Ukraine, India. All over the world. Yes. It's almost 5 o'clock. We have to wrap now. Let's finish what we can. It was looking hopeless, but uh, we're not going to stop trying. <laughs> I think we're gonna do it. So we have reached the end of our day, and not only that, we have reached our goal of 67 blankets. Yay! But hold on, hold on. Not only that, we actually made 325 blankets. Oh, what? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Wait, 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 wait! Doesn't the post office close at six? It is. What? Oh, it does. What time? You guys, we've gotta go. Oh, oh, we've gotta oh, go. Oh, 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 this is a Come lot of blankets. Come on, the post office is closing. We gotta move! <laughs> all right. What does it make you feel like to be all caught up? So relieved. So happy they're all gonna get their blankets. Wonderful. What's been the best part of your day? All of it. Yeah, watching <laughs> these women while working. It's pretty humbling. Yeah. Do you have, like, a sew bestie? My mama. Oh, there you oh, go. Yeah. Oh. All right, we're cutting it a little close. OK, let's do this. Okay. All, right, all right, all right. Get these. Yeah. Might be closed. You go check, hurry. you go check. Gotta, I'll go check. OK. Tell them to wait for us. <laughs> oh. Guys, it's closed. It's closed. We waited too long. What? It's not open. It's closed. Nuh-uh. I'm so sorry. This is, this is, 
This is unexpected. Or, um, what are we gonna do? Well, I mean, it was a little disappointing we didn't make it to the post office on time. But you know what? We did finish all of the blankets, which is a huge success, yes. right? Yes. But these were going to such cool places. Like, this was going to New York. This one's going to New York. That one's going to New York, too. Oh, you got only... Oh, oh hold on. Excuse me one second. Hello? Well, that, was, that wasn't our fault. The place was closed. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's just a little embarrassing, but they're being pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, really? I can ask. Hey, uh, Lucy, you know how you've always wanted to go to New York? Mm -hmm. Would you want to go to New York and hand deliver these packages? <laughs> uh, yeah. She said yes, we're good, cool. Oh my gosh, well, I'm so glad that you said yes because we've already bought your tickets, packed your bags, and we're ready to go to New York tonight. Tonight? Yeah. Mom's coming too. Let's do this. Oh my God. Well, we're not kidding. Let's get to the airport right now. Come on. Yeah. Let's do this. And we are off. What do you know about New York? Familiar with it? No, so you really. Like it? I do. I like it. I've yeah. never been either. We have a goal to see a Broadway show yes. in oh. New York. You know what you want to see? Wicked. Yeah. Wicked. We will make it happen one day. We made it. We got a big day tomorrow. Let's get some rest. Yeah. Let's Come on. Is everyone feeling refreshed? Yes. yes. Oh, me too. All right, let's go deliver some blankets. Okay. Yeah. Taxi, jump in. Oh. Here we go. So tell me about this nomination. This is Leah. She's a refugee from Russia, and she's seven. Go share a little love, shall we? Do the honors. Hello. Special delivery for you. <laughs> yeah, so nice of you to come. Thank you. Oh, you must be Leah. Hi. How are you? Oh. Leah, Lucy has something for you. Can I give you this? Wow. Yeah, cookies. <laughs> Do you like cookies? Yeah. Well, that works out. Yeah. What a question. I'm happy. <laughs> so, Olga, tell us a little bit about your story. So, we live in Moscow and we are here since February. So, we try to adjust. We do some homeschooling. She was like, I really want to meet new friends. And because she's not going to the school, yeah. so it's not easy. So, it's so good to feel this love and feeling of home. Sure. Can I make a picture of you? Yeah. Ah. Right there, perfect. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yes. Do you know what this means? Love. Yeah, love. And that I'll always love you. So when you're feeling lonely, or you're feeling sad, or even happy, you just know that Lucy always loves you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Oh, you're the best hugger. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, thank you so much for opening your home, but we are off. Enjoy the blanket. Come on, Lucy, All we right. got more to do. Bye, Leah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. This is so sweet. That was so awesome. Don't you wish we could do that for every blanket? Yeah. Can you imagine? I know, I'm so happy. So this is Samantha, who's recovering from a brain tumor, and her mom, Daisy. Hi. Nice to Hi. meet you. Nice Hi. to meet you. Hi. Hi. Samantha, this, <laughs> this is, is Lucy. Lizzie. Hi. Hi. Can I give you this? Mm -hmm. I hope this reminds you that someone loves you. Love Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. How long have you been doing this? Five years. That's cool. You self taught? My mom taught me. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> my mother. <laughs> so cool. So, you do all of this art too? So, you're really oh, yeah. artistic. Really? Yeah. Oh, I think that. Oh. That's neat. Thank you. <laughs> Can I give you a hug? Yes. Oh. We hope you enjoy that blanket. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I love you. See you, Sammy. So tell me about you and Samantha. I was a seven year survivor of cancer in my brain. Samantha's been, she's, she's amazing. You know, she's been through a lot. So I pray every day, you know, we, we go through all our ups and downs, our trials and tribulations, but you know, our Heavenly Father is always there, no matter what, he's here. And I thank him for that. Well, we thank him for you. Thank you. You're amazing. You're a strong lady. Thank you. We hope that you feel love every time you hug one of those blankets. Thank you so much. It's so nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. What a beautiful experience. Lucy, what did that feel like for you? Amazing. That is so cool. And I guess there's only one more delivery to make to 222 West 51st Street. 
I, wait, so we're just going to this address? All right, well, let's go check it out. Okay. 51st Street. I'm pretty sure this is 51st Street. Wait, is that a one or a seven? Oh, jeez. Oh, no, it's a one. Are we lost? No! No, we're not lost. Yeah. I just don't know where we're going. Oh, maybe it's on the other side of this. Oh, yeah, maybe it's on the other side. Yeah, let's check this out. So, where? Okay. Uh, okay, there's no numbers on true? any of these walls oh, of buildings. He's gotta be back there, maybe. What is going on? Jeez. Where's a Wicked Witch when you need one? Hi, my name is Millie Diaz, and I'm with the Broadway company of Wicked. I play Nessa Rose, and I absolutely love this show, and I love theater because it connects people from everywhere around the world, and it makes them feel at home. Hi, can I help you? Wow! <laughs> Millie Diaz? Hi! Hi! Uh, we're looking for this address. Oh, this is actually right here. This is the Gershwin Theater where Wicked on Broadway is. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I guess that's for you then. We're actually, you're Lucy, right? Yeah. I've heard a lot about you, Lucy. <laughs> Do you know what's happening right now? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd love it if you would be my guest tonight at the show. What? Oh, would you like to come? Yeah. She's yeah. Okay. Here you go. Those tickets are for you, Lucy. <laughs> That's our show, everyone! A huge thank you to Minky Couture, Wicked, and Millie Diaz! Random Axe on three! One, One two, two, three! three. Random Axe! Let's go see a show! Yeah! It is our intermission to get you to subscribe to the channel. And if you do, you'll get all the encores you want. I mean, aren't we at that stage where you should have subscribed by now? I mean, truly, it's the only broad way to be happy. Okay, let's go see the show. Okay.